Hey everyone, welcome. Welcome everyone. Uh, we'll get started shortly. We'll get started shortly, guys. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Gerald. Welcome, Gerald. Welcome. Welcome. We'll get started shortly. Welcome, Gerald. Hey, David. Hello, welcome. We'll get started shortly here. This evening uh, is uh, all about uh, mindset, so trading in the zone, trend following, and uh, using uh, our trading systems. Uh, we'll get started shortly. So we'll get started shortly here. Hey, Kawisi, welcome, Kawisi, welcome. Hey, Julian, welcome, Julian, welcome. Guys, we'll get started shortly. Yes. Uh, welcome, everyone. This evening is uh, trading in the zone, trend following, and uh, Using our trading systems, I will get started shortly. We'll get started shortly. Welcome Zane, welcome Zane. We'll get started shortly, guys. Hello, Tylak. Welcome, Tylak. Welcome. Hey, David. How are you doing? Good, good. Welcome. welcome. Thanks. Uh, we'll get started shortly. <clears throat> this evening, training in the zone, trend following. All right. So following trends and uh, using trading systems to maximize our trading opportunity. Uh, we'll get started shortly. start shortly guys welcome everyone welcome For the new traders that are here, welcome, guys. If you're here for the first time, welcome. Thank you. Uh, we'll get started shortly. We're going to focus on trading in the zone, so mindset, uh, trend following, and using our trading systems as we go through 
uh, the market this evening. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. All right, I'm going to share my trading screen and uh, we'll start with the equity markets. All right. All right, so as, as we go through the markets here, um, just, uh, we're gonna focus on Like I said, mindset, trading in the zone, trend following, all right? And uh, incorporating our trading systems. Everyone should see my screen. You guys should see my screen here, Monster Market Tracker, all right? Um, so let's start with the equity markets, all right? The equity markets. We were um, looking uh, for hopefully um, some buying to come in on the daily time frame. Um, so that hasn't happened. So we've moved uh, everything back uh, uh, to the weekly time frame. All right. So we are clearly in the markdown phase, and these are the uh, the indexes. So as we know, guys, we follow the indexes, the major indexes. So the Dow, the S and P, the Nasdaq, and the Russell. All right. So again, we're gonna focus on trends, right? Trend following. So we're going to focus on what trend the current market is in. And it is in the mark, markdown phase, so a downward trend, all right? And these are weekly time frame. This is the Dow here. This is our sell short signal by the system. So we want to follow our system, all right? Sell short signal right here, this red arrow on a break of, um, on a break of support, all right? So this is we're in the markdown phase, guys. Every candle here is a week's worth of data. So we should not be in stocks. All right. So we should not be in stocks long. All right. If you're looking to get into stocks, you can do some puts, do some uh, shorts, but definitely do not go long. OK, so on the Dow, still in the markdown phase, sellers are in control, red candle here. All right, we'll look to test, all right, to perhaps the bottom here, redistribution, break that, that support line and move lower, all right? We don't see any buyers coming into the market. Last week was a bit better for equities, right? Uh, we, uh, we had some buying coming last week, but the, the selling has resumed in the equity markets. So that was the Dow, all right? So again, focus on, Trends, right? Trend following using the uh, trading systems. On the S&P, right here is the S&P. Very similar. Sell short signal here. All right. Um, markdown phase, red candles, right? Sellers are still in control. All right. If you guys have any questions, just uh, raise your hands or just shout it out. All right. As I go through this. All right. All right. So sell signal, sell signal on the Dow, sell signal on the S&P and now the NASDAQ. All right. So we want to make sure all the indexes are moving the right way. Same thing for the NASDAQ. All right, here's the NASDAQ right here, sell short signals, right, right here. Red candles, markdown phase, sellers are still in control. We should not be buying stocks, right? We should not be long stocks, all right? The last index is the Russell, all right? So the Russell 500. So here's the Russell right here, all right? And again, no surprise, same thing. All right, sell short signal right here on the break of this support right here. Perfect uh, sell short signal, red candles, markdown phase. Okay, so the theme is this, all right? 
market is bearish guys market is bearish all right so we should not be long stocks if you're going to trade stocks um you you got to get in quickly get out quickly okay because the trend is short all right the vix volatility index and you guys know we follow the vix right so we've put the vix also on a weekly time frame right so we know as the vix moves higher right if the vix moves higher above 20 that's bearish for stocks all right that is bearish for stocks as the vix moves higher again above 20 bearish for stocks below 20 bullish for stocks all right so right now it's at 26 uh, the, the nice thing for stocks is that it was at 38, right? 36, 38. And now it's, it's right, it's stuck in the middle. A lot of these white candles here, um, we get a lot of consolidation, all right? So it's somewhere in the middle right now, all right? So just keep that in mind, all right? Hey, Stella, welcome. All right, okay. As far as the, the sectors now, all right, so transportation, healthcare, financials, um, we are starting to see, and we've been watching this move in healthcare, all right, so healthcare biotech, all right, that's the biggest area that we are scanning for right now through our heat seeker system, all right, so a lot of biotech, all right, a lot of healthcare stocks are starting to set up, all right. When this market becomes more healthy, hey, Florence, welcome. All right, when we get buying come in, we should see those stocks really start to move. So you guys should be building a watch list, all right, for health healthcare, that's the sector, and the industry, the industry is biotech, all right? So that's one area where we see a lot of money being poured into, right? But they're still in that accumulation phase, accumulation phase so st they're still buying building positions okay and we might take a look at those all right um bonds we are seeing a move in bonds all right so we are seeing if you guys look here bonds right here uh the 5 10 and 30 year bonds they've been moving higher all right so there's a play there in in bonds um as far as uh cryptos all right so Bitcoin in particular, and you guys know, right, we want to follow Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the barometer for the entire crypto market, okay? So whichever direction Bitcoin goes, right, so will most of the other crypto that are out there, all right? Our target for Bitcoin, we've been watching these guys, we've been calling the, these, these, um, these targets, and we've, we've been right on it, all right? And I know we think that, hey, you know, this might not happen, but the, the, the target right now for Bitcoin is 10,000, okay? We've moved Bitcoin to a weekly time frame so that we can clearly see the support, all right? So we had a sell short signal back in here. It's on the weekly time frame. The neck right now, Bitcoin is getting some support. Let's move it to a daily time frame. Any questions on this, guys? Stop me, okay? This is important. We're gonna move it to a daily time frame. All right. So here was our first sell short signal on the daily time frame. Our next one right here, and now we're right down here. And if you guys notice, right, here is 10, 20,000 right here on Bitcoin. Right here is about 20,000 right here, all right? And we need Bitcoin to break right about here, which is 19,500, all right, to get in redistribution. If it can get convincingly break and stay below 19.5, we can see a move lower, all right? Our next target, all right? Our near-term target is 15,000 and then 10,000, all right, on Bitcoin. However, if we can get above, look at this here, 
All right, if we can get above 22,000, 22,000, um, but really about 24,000, 25,000 get above this um, moving average right in here, we could see a buy signal on the daily time frame. All right, but we are far from that. All right, markdown phase, we're in the markdown phase, right? Sell short signal, sellers are in control, clearly sellers are in control, no green candles, so we don't have any buyers, all right? We do not have a sell short signal. So even with the sell short signal on the daily, that hasn't closed, right? So that would have to close, right? Gets, we have to see green candles, buying come in, then get a buy signal. So we are far from that on Bitcoin, all right? So just hold tight. All right, nothing to do with cryptos. And remember, all right, as Bitcoin goes lower, hey, Gerald, welcome. All right, most of your uh, cryptos will move lower also. All right, lower highs, lower lows. All right, lower highs, lower lows, okay? So we're gonna follow the trend. Here's a high, here is a high. Here is a high, here is a high. So we're making lower highs, all right? Lower highs, here is a high, all right? Here is a high, here is a high, and then here is a high here. Lower high, so the trend is down, all right? Lower lows, there's a low, here is a low, here is a low. Here is a low, here is a low, and here is a low, all right? So lower, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. So the trend is down, all right? And it's clear for all of us to see, all right? So nothing here with Bitcoin. I do want to spend some time on, um, on Forex, all right? Before I do that, though, uh, let's take a look at Stock Boss, right? Stock Boss. So stocks, uh, we want to start building a watch list here, all right? We want to, so those of you who trade, uh, use our stock boss system with hit, hit, uh, hit seeker, start building your watch list, okay? Um, guys, the, the, the number one sector, right, that they're really building right now is healthcare. All right, we track about 22,000 stocks every day with HitSeeker automatically. All right, automatically. And on very high volume. All right, very, very high volume. And what you guys will notice, all right, that all of the money right now, all right, all of the money, all of the capital right now is going into healthcare right? Healthcare stocks. All right. See there, all, this is all healthcare, all healthcare right here. All right. So these are stocks that are under, under $10 here. All right. So cheap stocks, bull master, more expensive stocks. But what I want to show you guys is the sector that is setting up. So the next rotation coming out of stocks, Right now, if we are able to get some buying in stocks, even if it's a little bit of buying, we're going to see this sector really, really move. All right. So healthcare, if you guys look here, and we'll go through a few of these healthcare, healthcare, healthcare. Every day, right? Every day, healthcare keeps showing up in a big way. All right. So, but in particular, healthcare and biotech. All right. So, please start building your watch list, okay? I know Stella, Stella, you're building your watch list, okay? Uh, Tylak, you should be building your watch list, okay? For these biotech stocks, okay? So let's go through a few of them, all right? Let's go through a few of them. All right, so what we wanna look for is buy signals. So we wanna use our system, follow the trends. Use our system, follow the trends, okay? We should be coming from the markdown phase, 
right? Coming from a markdown phase, all right? Getting into that accumulation phase, looking to break out. And a lot of these stocks should be holding, right? These institutions are holding and they're building positions. So as soon as this market gets a bit healthier, you're going to see these stocks really take off. Okay, so here is one here. It doesn't have a buy signal yet. Okay, ASXC. All right, really good markdown phase, guys. Really good markdown phase. This is a cheap stock at 47 cents. All right, so markdown phase, it is accumulating. So that's the accumulation phase right? We need to wait for a buy signal, all right? So ASX, I'm just going to go through a few of these. This one here, uh, markdown phase is not as nice, okay? But still, look here, they're starting to get into this stock, right? Broke, broke resistance, green candles, buyers are now getting in, right? Blue arrow here, four our systems, buy signal, all right? AVDL. All right. Here's another one here. Really good markdown phase. All right. This one fell from thirty dollars. I want to open it up to see uh, on a weekly time frame. Actually, fell from ninety dollars. Ninety. Let's do a monthly time frame. All right, so yeah, ninety dollars, right? It fell, and now it's trading at eight forty nine. All right, this is one you guys should put on your radar. Start building your watch list. All right, it's got a buy signal. A buy signal came in today, guys. Look at that. Right, buy signal came in today. All right, so when this when 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 this rotation starts and really starts to take off, there shouldn't be any surprise. Really good markdown phase. Look here. Really good resistance, right? Really good support. All right. Now it's been testing, trying to break out. So this could be the breakout here, right? 849, this could be the breakout. And there's a lot of upside. There's a lot of upside because it fell from $90. All right. So be watching for these healthcare stocks, guys, biotech. All right. Coming out of this rotation, right? The next rotation, absolutely healthcare, biotech. Here's another one here. So where most traders are buying up in this area here, holding it, holding it as it's going down, we are out. Right, we are out and we are waiting. We are waiting. We want the price to get as cheap as possible, then get in on this buy signal. All right, so start building your watch list. Here is one right here. I think we send this out. We send this one out last night uh, to our stock boss uh, traders. Okay, so this is one to put on your radar right here. B F L Y. All right. Here's another one here. All we're doing is waiting for that buy signal, guys. Right, here is a one right here. And there's a lot, a lot of opportunities here, okay? So just remember, healthcare, healthcare, biotech. All right, so we follow, we follow the indexes, then the sector, all right? And then the industry. We do it in that just like that. And we use the VIX, volatility index, to let us know when money is coming into, into the markets. All right. Let's talk about uh, this, uh, the dollar pairs on Forex. All right. Who is in um, the dollar Swiss? Anyone here is in the dollar Swiss? The dollar Swiss or any of the dollar pairs? Uh, yeah. yeah, I am, uh, David. I'm in dollar Swiss. Okay, you in dollar, yeah, I, I, yeah, you, you did talk to me, Ty, like dollar Swiss. Who else is in the dollar Swiss? Yeah, I'm in dollar Swiss as well as DKK. Okay, so you dollar Swiss, I want to go over that and USD, DKK. All right. Uh, Those other ones I was in gave me the sell signal earlier today, the SEK. 
and the CZK, both K cell signal, uh, exit signals. I got out. Okay. Okay, and you close those two positions, Gerald? Yes, close. I close both of those positions. Okay, very good. Very good. All right, let's talk about. Um, so, Tylak, uh, Gerald, are you in USD uh, CHF? CHF, yes, sir. I'm in CHF. Okay. okay. All right. So, let's go over that. So let's talk about using the trading systems, right? Our trading systems. This white candle right here, right? Um, and I know we have several traders that are trading USD CHF, right? Um, did you guys stay in the position on this white candle? Did you stay in or did you guys get out? Did you guys stay in or did you get out? Yeah, I'm, I stayed in. You stayed in. I, I stayed. I stayed in. Also, we were talking about that. You know, if if it turns uh, red, we're ready to right. get out. But since it stayed white, stayed in there. Yeah. Very good. Very good. This is a good example. I wanted to talk about this trade because this is a really good example. All right. Of why, um, why we need to really follow the candles, right? Candle by candle by candle. All right. When when we get a white candle, guys, that's we still have to stay in. All right. That's not that doesn't mean that sellers are coming in. All right. So and we can't panic, right? And I know we had a lot of volatility came in today. There was data that came in and really moved um, the forex market. All right. So we have to just be patient and wait because guess what? This trade here is still intact. And we'll talk about, Jerry, we'll talk about your other two trades, okay? But this is, you guys did an amazing job staying in this trade. This is what we need to do, all right? To stay in these trades. That's, once you guys get in, all right? Once you get in on a buy signal, and this is, we can't get any more, any more perfect than this. All right, with this buy signal right here, our job is to stay in these trades as long as as long as buyers are still in control. All right, so Tylak, really good job staying in. Gerald, really good job. I'm um, Stellar. You're not trading. You're not trading the dollar pairs right now, right? I don't think you are. I don't. No. Think, no. no, I think you're on the sideline. Yeah, I um, am. Yeah, but 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 still learn from this, right? Learn from what they did here, right? This is very tough. This is a this was a you know even if we entered here on the buy signal here, all right, markup phase. Guess what? This pullback right here, it's a it's still a pretty decent pullback, all right. But white candles, nothing to do. Look at this. Buyers came back in, and now we are still in to test this resistance. Okay, we'll test near term resistance right here. Hopefully we can do that overnight. All right. And then we still our goal is to still test this resistance up here. All right. So good job holding. Good job holding. All right. We're still looking for a target right here. Here is previous resistance. Previous resistance. Here is support here. Here is support here. This was our previous buy signal and sell signal here. Here's our previous buy signal right here and sell signal right here. So we have to remember, this is not, we're just following the buyers, okay? This is not an accident. So we got, guys, we got all the way up to here before. We did it again here. We can certainly do it again. Right, we can certainly do it again. All right, but if we out of it, guess what? We we don't have an opportunity to get to this area up here. All right, so good job. Candle by candle by candle, right? When you trade that way, right, all of the emotions kind of go away, 
yeah, I mean, it's still, it's not easy, right? It's still, you know, kind of messes with you, especially when volatility comes in, all right? But your goal, okay, so let's talk a little bit about mindset now, all right? Your goal, all right, our goal, all right, is to walk it safely, manage the trade, manage your emotions, and walk the price all the way up. If the sellers come in, we'll, we'll get out, okay? But your goal, right, is to walk, walk it up, protect it, walk it all the way up. And that's what you guys did here. So guess what? You can celebrate. This is hard. This is hard, right? This is very, very hard to do, right? Staying in when selling come in, Right when pullbacks, I wouldn't call this selling, but pullbacks come in within within your trend, within your trend. Okay, the next goal for this trade here, and I'm just using this as an example. All right, we do this with all all the positions that we're in. The next goal here. All right, and then I'll open up the floor for any questions. All right, the next goal here is right here. We almost halfway there. When we started here, it almost seemed impossible. <laughs> right? Almost seemed impossible that we could get all the way up here, right? But look here, we're almost halfway there. All right? So we've got to manage, 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 get it all the way up here. All right? Protect your positions, right? Keep your eye on the goal to get it right up here. Once we can, let's say we get it up in this resistance here, right? And this is a good example for, for your other trades. This is how we trade, all right? Candle by candle, and we walk in that price up. We don't just randomly do things. We know we know that sellers are sitting here, right? Because guess what? They came in, right? Knocked us back. Also right here, sellers came in, knocked us back all the way down here, back to support, all the way down here. So we know sellers are sitting right here, all right? So be aware of that. Tyler, Gerald, be aware of that, that sellers are waiting right here. Okay, so we're safe. We're in the trend. We, we, you guys protected your position. You held, you held, you held, you held. Good job. You can breathe now, right? You can breathe now. All right, now the goal is let's try to break this resistance right here, right? If we can get above that resistance right here, near-term resistance, guess what? We are closer to our goal here. All right. Once we get near that area right here, there's no guarantee, but it looks like it could happen. Right now, we really want to pay attention. All right. I would say bring out this is a 240 minute time frame. You might want to bring out a 30 minute time frame or even a 60 minute time frame. And what we want to see is we want to see the price holding on the smaller time frame. We do not want to see sellers coming in on that smaller time frame. That makes sense, guys? Those of you who are in this position. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So once it gets closer, guys, do a 30 minute, perhaps even a 60 minute side by side. And we wanna see holding where the price is holding, 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 all right? breaking additional resistance levels on the smaller time frame. You can even bring out a 15 minute time frame. All right. And what we're hoping is that I uh, will watch this, right? We'll watch it. I want to use this trade here as, a, as an example, All right? We trade in other pairs, but this one in particular, I want to use this as an example of what we should do. All right. So we know sellers are sitting here, guys. They are, they're here, right? They, they're absolutely here, right? 
but we can't be afraid, right? So our goal is, and we know that if we could, if we keep testing resistance, testing resistance, resistance be will come, become weaker, just like support. We keep testing support, testing support, it becomes weaker. So sometimes not guaranteed, usually the third time, right? is a charm, right? And we could sometimes break that resistance. So that's what we're hoping. And we're hoping that all the positions we added all up here, right? We can now break that resistance and guess what? Get out of this box here. This is a box. Price is being trapped in this box right here. And what we are looking to do is get finally break out of this box here. Okay, so if you guys look here, this is basically accumulation. We're trading between support and resistance, just a, a larger time frame. It's a 240 time frame. But what we're hoping is that price finally, right, breaks out of this box right here. All right, so we got in here and we're walking it all the way up safely to break out of here. All right, so keep that in mind, Gerald Tylak. Um, good job. All right, good job. Hold, hold, hold. All right. Now, Gerald, your USD SEK. Let's take a look at that. USD SEK. All right. So as we go through this, remember training in the zone, your mindset. All right. And guys, those of you who are here, notice that with this pullback here, Gerald and Tylag, this is a big pullback within, all right? If you looked at your PL, it looked really good here. Doesn't look as good down here, right? And they stayed in the trade, all right? And that's all about our mindset, okay? We have to really be tough, tough in here to hold on to that trade, all right? And, and those of you who've been with us for a while, you know it's tough, but you guys are building that, that mindset, all right? So USD SEK, so USD SEK. So Gerald, you were in that trade and you said you got out, right? Uh, USD SEK. Uh, Right here. Yeah, yeah, I got out of it. You got out. Okay. So here was the sell signal. Did you get in at the buy signal, right at the buy signal or close to yeah. it? Yeah, okay. I got in it. I got in at the buy signal. Um I did have a question about this particular trade at the end of this. Now I know it's hindsight looking back now, it's easy to understand, but um right before the big pullback, there was a break of resistance. Um, just before that, right here. Uh, hold on, let me see. Hey, Peter. Welcome, Peter. Welcome. Uh, after that. After right here. Right. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, right here or right. Yeah. yeah, there was a break of resistance. Right. That fir that first top line you drew. Okay. And um, my question is. Uh, I, I think I added a position there, but that's when I got a major pullback on that second ad, a third ad position there. Okay. Um, so that. So total of that, total of three positions. Uh -huh, total three positions. Now that last position that I added, there was a loss on that position because that's when that pullback came. Mm -hmm. Never recovered. I never recovered. Yep. Um, which is okay. Um, the other two positions was able to close with a profit okay um that was a concern but it did exactly what it was supposed to do white candle came in sell the get out exit signal and you know it is what it is so yeah it was, all, all together was a good trade okay good good what did you learn from this trade apart from that your execute so you so let's talk about this all right so um, when we trade, guys, I, I know we focus, we want to focus on, on the losses, the wins and the losses, okay? And, and yes, we, we want to make sure we're not, you know, we don't want to blow accounts. We don't want to do any crazy stuff, right? But we do want to focus on the execution, 
all right? And you, 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 you entered here, right? You bought right around here on your buy signal and then you got out here, right, yeah. Gerald? Okay, you, you, you did your job. Yeah. Yeah, you, you did your job, right? You scaled up, so you entered here. Where was your second, where did you scale up your second position? Where did you, in here, on a break of resistance or on a pullback of the moving average? support uh yeah i'm gonna show you really quick uh i got i broke it was actually two scales up at 10 5 5 8 2. 10, 5, 5. so there was one at 10 so there was a break of resistance there right next to it was Okay. That that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. That that's yeah, that that's not that's not critical. What's what's yeah. yeah, what's what's important is that guess what? Right? You you manage the trade, you got in properly, right. and guess what? You got out at the sell signal. All right. All right. So you did your job and you got out here. It, the price broke support, right? Broke right. support, you got your sell signal here, broke resistance. All right, nice markup phase. All right, so you're out, right? So what's the next for this particular trade? What's next? For USD, SEK, what's next? Well, as soon as I got out, as soon as the sell signal got us out, buyers came back in right at the, right at the next hour, the 240 hour, okay. white, can white candles came back in. At this point, I'm I'm out of it. There's no way I can get back in unless for some reason buyers come back in and give us another uh, buy signal. Okay, very good. Very good. Look at that. All right, good job, Jerry. Good job, good job. Look at that. All right. So, you know, so again, when we do these on Wednesdays, we want to keep mindset right so we looked at um, which pair was it usd chf good job managing that 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 trade right managing that pullback staying in that trade even when you know even when it, it's going against us holding 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 waiting good job closing the trade and now really good job waiting all right, waiting, 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 right? If the price breaks this resistance, we'll get another buy signal. If the price breaks resistance, we wait, we wait, we wait, we wait. Just like we did here. We waited here, waited here, waited here. If you guys look here, and that's why it's really nice to really follow system, all right? And follow this support and resistance, all right? Follow these, these green candles, red candles, okay? So here was a break of resistance right here. There was a buy signal here, right? Sellers came in, price broke support. There was a sell signal right here. Hey, I had a question for you on the... Uh... CZK, mm -hmm. uh, USD CZK. Okay. Um, uh, I had a question about scaling up on this one. Okay. Um, whenever you want, if you can get to it, I want, I got a question on that CZK, even though it's closed, I did okay. have a question before that. Okay, good, good. Uh, I'll just finish up here with this one. Okay. I'm almost done. All right. So look at these guys, really good trading. I mean, we can go all the way back here. Break of resistance, bought. Sellers came in, break of support, took a small profit here. Sellers came in. Same thing here, right? Same thing here. And now, Gerald, you did the same thing here. All right? You did the same thing here. This is, this is it's not great trading. This is not a, a perfect chart, right? But pretty good trading, all right? And then here, we just waiting, right? So if the price breaks resistance, we'll get another buy signal here to get in to now move higher, 
However, if it fails, right, if it breaks support, you're already out of it. If it breaks support, sellers come in, you're already out. It could go lower. Okay, so good job. Good job. Very good job. Very, very good job. All right, so let's take a look at uh, your other pair. Any questions on these guys? Any questions? Really good trading. Really good trading by both Gerald and Tylak. All right. Um, watch this. Keep an eye on this. Okay. So if US if USD SEK gives another buy signal, jump on it. All right, jump on it. Um, let's see here. So USD CZD. Where is that? Uh, CZK or CZ? Which one was it, Gerald? CZK. CZK. All right. Uh, right below right. the yeah, that right there. Right here. Okay. Okay, All so right. I got it. I got in right at the buy signal. Okay. Right. So right here was your entry. Good job. Right. With your okay. Entry. Yeah. Okay. But but my question was there was a uh, I scaled up. I'm gonna tell you where my scale up is at. My scale was um 24.229, um, at the break of resistance. I think it was a purple, a purple resistance. Okay, so your you scale your initial entry was here and your scale up, you scaled up about 20, 24 and change. 22, 22, 22. 20, 22 and some change. No, 20, 22? No, I'm sorry. It was 20, 24, 229. 24, 229? Yeah. Okay, so right about here. Okay, so you added, you added right here. Right here, that looks familiar. Twin, this is 24228. So right about here. That's close. Yeah. And uh that that next that okay, so I added right there. Okay. Um when did you my, add? My, Was that today? No. Okay. No. Um <clears throat> I had to add it. Uh I believe it was I believe it was the eight. So I did get a I, I added on a pullback. Okay. It was it was on the pullback. So my question was after the after I added on the pullback, it did break resistance again once it marked up again. When it marked up again, is it too aggressive to add on that next break of resistance when I just added on the pullback? Oh, that's a good question. Because it did break the resistance. Now, hindsight is 2020, it pulled back all the way and then eventually gave me the exit signal. But let's just say it did not do that. Is that too aggressive to add on a pullback and then add again on the break of resistance? Because that's what I did. And I was curious. It was late at night. It was after 11, 30, 12 when I added on a break of resistance. Mm -hmm. And I, it was, I didn't want to call you a budget at that time of night. So I just went ahead and add a third position no, I'm sorry, second position um, at the break of resistance, and then the bottom fell out and got me out of it. But either okay. way, yeah. All right. So next time, text me. All right. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, just send me a text. All right. Um, okay. So this was, so you, you got in here. All right. Um, this would have been a good area to add here. Okay. So here, your first position, this would have been a good position, all right? But you added here, right? You added- At, at the pullback, yep. At uh, the pullback, okay, so hold And on. then it went up to that, it went up to that break of resistance. It broke, started, got another set of break, uh, another set of resistance and support brackets drawn in, and then that's when it fell out. Okay, so, so did, you, did you add right here? Yep, there, right there, yep, right, right there. So you right added, there. you added right here. And yep. then where again did you add? Did you add here or in, up in this? Right area? there, right there, right, right there. Here, right when it here. broke that, when it broke that resistance is when I added again, but the, it didn't go anywhere else uh -huh. and it came straight back down. No, you did okay. 
Okay. Yeah. I was just wondering if it was a bit aggressive because it was the same movement and price price movement when I added in the pullback. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, man, is this too aggressive? Because now it's going up, and it did break resistance on that that candle closed above resistance. The next candle closed above resistance, but then it came. Like if you pull in a little closer to the screen, you can see it. It closed two candles closed above that resistance, but it then it fell all the way down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, is it a is it a bit aggressive? Yes and no. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, this was a good this right here. Perfect. Yeah, per- perfect. Yeah, perfect. Perfect second trade. Um, uh, you could have gotten a second trade here, so you could have scaled up here. All right. See, I don't. I don't. I don't usually pull. I don't usually get up on pullbacks. I usually get up on break of resistance because I, no, I'm, I'm a saying little too here. nervous. Yeah, yeah, saying, yeah here. right. Yeah. I should have done that when you're correct. Yeah. But this when I have... saw the pullback, they. I think Bill was talking about he would scale up on pullbacks and mm-hmm. and so I, i'm like well i never really do that so i wanted to kind of test the waters on it and that's yeah. why i scaled up on that pullback but you're right i should have did it on the resistance yeah so yeah scaling scaling up adding to on the pullback takes a, a bit more practice right. right and the reason why is because this can happen here All exactly right? exactly yeah so just understand when we get that pullback We'll usually get that pullback on near support, right? Like here, like here, like here, and like here. So it's a, it's a, it's real, it's riskier, right? We want, we want to wait for more confirmations. We need, you know, we need, we need more candles to come. If we have a white candle come in, we need a, a green candle, a follow up to give us more confirmation. Um, this takes a bit more skill. But I'm glad you I'm glad you you testing things out, right? I'm glad you're testing things out. So ideally, here would have been a safer one right, right here. Um, if you if you want to be a bit more aggressive, here would have been okay. Um, okay. This one right here, good job here. This is a really good job here. This one here, you have to do that. Yeah, this yeah, one okay. here, yeah, you just have to do it, right? This is reaccumulation, yeah. right? Here is a, a you we break in resistance. The candles actually closed. They closed above that resistance. Right. So, yeah. So you did your job. All okay. right. Um, there's no guarantee that you're going to get follow through. Right. We we don't know. Um, the only thing that you could look at is over here. Right. You could look at this area here and say, okay, boy, a lot of sellers they came in this area right here. Right at 24, 228. Uh, there, there are sellers sitting right here. All right. So I would just have to be careful, right? So, but guess what? When the price broke resistance right here, guess what? You're out of that area here. So you didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. All right. You followed the process, you took the trades. Um, and guess what? Did you get out on the on the red candle or the sell signal? Sell signal. I got out of the sell signal. Yeah. Because I was waiting this morning. We was waiting on all of the, the dollar pairs to kind of get out of the volatility that it was in this morning. And mm-hmm. these two, the SEK and the CZK, they both gave the exact same sell signal yep. at the same time, basically. Yep. I got out of both of them. Yeah. They look almost identical, right? Yep. Exactly. Um, so you did your job. Yeah, yeah, you did, you did, you did your job. There's nothing. Uh, the only thing here you could have added here, but right. everything else, perfect, 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 perfect trading, right? And that that's what we want to do, right? Now, if here, here is support here, here is resistance, stay with it, all right? Stay with it. If it tests that resistance again, breaks through that resistance, you will get another buy signal and and get in. It's been trading. It's been trading decent, right? It's been trading decent. All right, all right. So good job, good job, good job, good job. Candle by candle by candle. All right. Um, was there another one? DKK USD DKK. Let's take a, a look at that. 
USD DKK. All right. So USD DKK. Uh, who's in this one? Gerald, you in this one also? Yeah, I'm in that one as well. Okay. Um, anyone else? Just you? Okay. So there's nothing to do here, right? No, no, this one's nothing to do. Yeah. It's still holding, right? It didn't break down like the others, right? Uh -huh. um, so we, we manage each one differently, right? So we don't just, you know, when we get volatility, we don't just close everything, right? We wait, right? We wait on the system, right? And then we sell right? on the red candle or sell signal. Here you manage your other trades perfectly. Good job, Gerald, man. Good job, really good job. You manage the ones you needed to manage, right? Right, you close the ones you needed to close and you stayed in the ones you needed to stay in. So here was your buy signal here, right? Yep. No red candles, no sell signals, not even a white candle, got a bit of a pullback, right? Mm -hmm. But buyers came back in, right? The system held, and now you're looking to test this resistance and now move higher, all right? So good job. Thank you. Very good job, very good job. Um, and what guys, for everyone, look how he managed each trade, right? Each trade he managed differently. So USDCHF, right? He held, Gerald, he got in here, held, held, on that pullback, that white candle here, and this is pretty scary, right? When when sellers come in, right? You're getting that prices, right? Making lower highs, right? Within your trend, right? Within your trend, trend following now, right? Think of trend following as you. We need the trend. We need to absolutely manage the trend. Absolutely, that's how we make money. All right, so he managed that position of he and Tylak, right? Didn't get out on this white candle, waited, buyers came back in, and now he's in it, he's holding. So he managed this trade perfectly on the pullback. Here, here, right, he got out, right? So sellers came in, got a sell signal. He didn't wait and say, hey, well, I'm going to hope, hope that it, it goes up. Now, in this case, it, it went up. It doesn't matter. He executed properly. He got out of the trade, which is what he's supposed to do. Whatever happens after that happens, right? And then here, okay, which was the other one, SEK, right? USD SEK, he scaled up. Guess what? Close all his positions. If he had a small profit, took that. If he had a loss, he took that, right? No big deal. Same thing here. Bought here, right? Scaled up a bit, right? Guess what? Broke support, right? Got a sell signal to get out, got out. All right. Now he's waiting to see if he can get a buy signal. If he gets a buy signal, he'll get back in. And then his other trade was uh, USD DKK. Every single trade, he had to do things a bit differently. All right. All right, he didn't just panic and close. I see traders do this all, panic, close everything. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done, I'm out of here, all right? Just close everything. Can't we can't do that? Yeah, this one pulled back quite a bit as well. Uh, back to that moving average mm -hmm. earlier today. Yeah, pull but back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you entered here, pull back. It pulled yep. back all the way here. That moving average, right? I didn't panic. Green candles held it. No sell signal by the system held it. Held it. Did you scale up on this one, Joe? Yeah, I got a, I got two scales up on that one. As okay, well. 
So yeah. you you add it where? Just an idea of, yeah. over here here. Yeah. Uh, actually, I kind of add it late on this one. Uh, seven point three three one. Oh, okay. okay. Seven so, point, yeah, I had it late on this one. Up in here. Okay. I'm I trying to manage my capital in my account. So I had a little extra, so I scaled up on it. Yeah. Good job. What's your margin? You know, yep, what's exactly. your margin? But um, just great trading. Just great trading. All right. Just, just great, 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 great management. Management of your positions. You know, um, I tell traders, don't trade a lot. Right. Don't trade, you know, trade of just a few pairs. But when you manage your trades like this, oh, you can trade. You can trade. You can trade several. Not, don't do that yet. But with, with the with the type of skill, and I know you you trade in full time, but for the type of the patience, the accuracy, accuracy, the skill that you're using, right? And you're still fairly new to trading. Uh, those are really good habits. You're building some really good habits. So I could see you down the road where you're managing, right? You're really trading, managing well in Forex. I'd probably bring in some other markets, right? Because, you know, this is uh, when we trade like this, it's, it's all about management, right? We are managing the trades. Right, and we're managing our our capital, right? Protecting our capital, all right. Putting capital to work, all right. Especially forex, we're watching our margin, right? Uh, you heard him say, uh, you know, I, I I have to close some positions, watch my my margin there. So good management, very very good management of your trades, all right. So that's really cool, really cool to see that, all right. And, uh, and you haven't been trading for years. So uh, to see you do this um, in, in a relatively short period of time, I mean, you're trading like a trader. That's what, that's what traders do, right? When everything, and today was tough, right? Today was tough because we had data come out today, right? And everything just right kind of went crazy, crazy, a lot of volatility, right? And he was able to manage right the trades out of this. So good job. Good example. This is a good example of what we what's possible, what we can do. Uh, and he controlled, he controlled his emotions, controlled his, the, his mindset. All right. And that's what, you know, we'd want to talk about that this evening, right? Mindset, trading in the zone, trend following, he's following the trend and he's using his trading system. He's not guessing, right? Gerald used his trading system, followed his buy and sell signals, okay, to manage. A lot of times when we trade, right, it's not just about making money, it's managing that process managing our losses all right managing our wins managing the trade okay so good job gerald very proud of you all right very proud of you very proud of all you guys tylak really really good job all right um really really good job all right any questions for me before we leave any questions any other questions for me uh, take this as a good example, guys. Really, really, really good example of how we should manage the process, the trading process, but perhaps most importantly, manage our mindset. Okay. Good job. Good job. All right, guys. Take care. Have a great evening, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.